I have to go back. No, you don't. Don't you understand? You I don't. have to settle things with Barrett. Barrett's going to talk you into staying with him. He's going to play on your guilt. But I can't just walk out on him. I'm afraid for you. Now, you said yourself that you were afraid, right? Whatever decision I make is going to affect Steve. I have to consider what's best for him. Moving into town is the best thing for both of you. Now, I'm going to go out to the ranch and I'll pick up Steve for you. No, Ryan, that's not the answer. That won't settle anything. It'll only antagonize Barrett. You're just not willing to give up, are you? If Barrett is willing to get help and try to deal with his jealousy, then I have to make an effort. And if he doesn't? Then I promise I'll leave him. Isn't Rena coming in? No, she's going home. She's got the things to do. Oh, I thought maybe she could stop for a cup of tea and we could relax a bit. Well, she has to go. You know, she spent an awful lot of hours with me in the last couple of days. She was afraid she might run into Barrett, wasn't she? I don't blame her. No, Barrett was really upset because he couldn't pick you up, Ginny. But with the new shipment of cattle coming in it's and okay, all. It's okay, Kate. Wonderful to have you back. Mom! Hi, honey! Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Are you tired? Oh, a little bit. It's so nice being out in the fresh air, though. You want to sit down here on the porch for a little while? Sure, why not? You know, Songbird was really happy to see you. So was Morning Glory. <laughs> well, I'm not so sure about Morning Glory. <laughs> you know, one of the guys at the 4-H club has a heifer that looks just like her. But she's not as big. You know, you haven't even talked about the baby. I didn't want to make you sad. I'd be sad whether we talk about it or not. You really wanted a baby, didn't you? Yes, I did, honey. But it just wasn't meant to be. That's what Max told me. Did you cry? Yes. Did you? Yeah. I was afraid you weren't going to come home from the hospital. Didn't your father tell you I was all right? Yeah, but I didn't believe him. Oh, honey. I was afraid you weren't... that I was going to see you again. Well, I'm fine, and I'm home now. So there's no reason to be afraid anymore. Is Jenny upstairs resting? Well, oh, she and Steve have gone out for a walk. He's monopolized her from the moment she set foot in this house. He won't even let her out of his sight. That's natural enough, Barry. He thought she was going to die in the hospital, and he'd never see her again. You know, once he's satisfied that she's all right, he'll turn his attention to other things. I'm surprised that Rena didn't invite herself over for the duration of the afternoon. Lord knows she doesn't have enough else to do. There's a lot of anger building up inside you, Barry. Now, you know nothing good will come of that. Why shouldn't I be angry? My wife's hardly said two words to me since she got home. She probably figured that reassuring Steve was the most important thing she had to do at this moment. Now, he's just a child, Barry. He doesn't understand what's been happening. There's a lot of other things that I don't understand, too, Grandma. Well, let Jenny work it out with Steve. The two of you have plenty of time to work out your problems. I want to get it over and done with. Well, in the mood you're in, I'd wait. Are you suggesting that I pretend not to know that the baby that Ginny carried was Ryan Connors and not mine? Barrett, you can deal with that eventually. Now is not the right time. It's the perfect time. What happened to all that understanding you were talking about this morning? 
You said you wanted to make a whole new start. That's what Fresh I want. and new. Exactly, that's what I want. Part of you wants it. But another part of you wants to lash out at the world because you think you've been deceived. I'll work it out. Barrett, you better work it out within yourself first before you talk to Ginny. I have worked it out. Ginny's a good woman, Barrett. Don't judge her for being human. You do love her, don't you? Yes. Well, build on that love, then. Don't destroy it with all this anger and resentment. I think it's possible for you to put all that behind you and make a start. But it's up to you. What you doing? Making tea. Grandma could have done that for you. I know, but I'd like to move around a little. I'll rest when you get tired. You mind if I join you? I haven't seen much of you since you got back from the hospital. Only been home a couple of hours. You've been busy. Is it really so difficult to be with me, Ginny? Do you hate me that much? I don't hate you, Barrett. Do you remember much about uh, being in the hospital? Not much. I was sedated most of the time. You told me that if you lost the baby, you'd never forgive me. I remember. Well, now I know why you felt that strongly. The baby you lost was Ryan Connors, not mine. 